Welcome to Heartfelt Beer Reviews. My name is Kyle. Today we're going to be reviewing New Glarus Brewing Company's Raspberry Tart. It is a fruit ale brewed with raspberries and coming in at 4% alcohol by volume. I'm going to go ahead and read you the description on the bottle. It says, some people paint, some people sing, and others write. A few times a year, we cut Dan, our master brewer, loose to brew whatever he chooses, and is always handcrafted. The bottle you hold is for the adventurous soul. This is a very limited edition, and we make no promises to ever brew this style again. Treat yourself to a rare delight. This raspberry bouquet will greet you long before your lips touch your glass. Serve this Wisconsin Frambois, very cold, and a champagne flute. Hold your glass to the light and enjoy the jewel-like sparkle of this very special ale. Oregon proudly shares their harvest of mouth-watering berries, which we ferment spontaneously in large oak vats. Then we employ Wisconsin farmed wheat in year-old halter tile hops to round out this extravaganza of flavor. Life's too short to wait for dessert. Now, I do make it clear that the New Glarus Spring Company is in Wisconsin. And they do not distribute whatsoever. You have to go to Wisconsin to get their beer. Maybe there's availability to trade online with somebody. I'm not sure. I've never tried online trading. But it does exist if you want to look it up. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Get it into this sour glass. I don't have a flute champagne flute glass. I actually broke mine recently. But I'm going to go ahead and do a pour. Show you the aroma and the flavor. And get a nice rating for you. This bottle is a little older. At 4%, maybe this has, you know, a six month shelf life at best. I mean, it's not necessarily going to go bad, like it's going to make you sick. But I wouldn't drink this. I mean, this is a dessert beer. I wouldn't drink these Lolly BV beers after they're too old just because you're going to lose flavor. I'm kind of trying to do an aggressive pour here to get ahead on here. Look at that. That's a nice, dark, ruby red color. It's even got a, a nice off-red tinge khaki head to it. And it really, it, this head really retains well. The bubbles are quite compact. This is a uh, beer is uh, at high carbonation. And you can tell that it doesn't... From looks of things, it's pretty... It's standard for this. It's a uh, fruit ale. So, ale meaning that the yeast top ferments. I'm going to go ahead and give you the aroma. I mean, wow, you get... It just feels like there's pounds and pounds and pounds of fresh raspberry added to this. Doesn't feel like... I mean, this smells like raspberry juice. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. You can almost get a... Uh... I don't want to say vanilla, because it's not brewed with vanilla, but you get another complexity of sweetness that uh, could come from the yeast that they use. Go ahead and give you a taste. See what I think. Oh man, this is special. I mean, this beer is just insanely good. I got a four pack of it for nine ninety nine. You can also get a twenty five ounce bomber for only nine ninety nine, which is a ridiculous steal. Granted, this is only four percent alcohol by volume, and I still have a little bit left in the bottle. But for the quality that you're getting, it's just it's unbeatable. I mean, it's not your standard beer. You know, it's not a lager it's not a regular old gold nail it is a dessert beer you can tell by what i told you it was brewed with but i'm telling you anybody anybody that loves raspberries even if you don't like raspberries i don't know how you couldn't like this beer this beer melds together perfectly it's a, a little tart on the back end of the mouth i'm gonna go ahead and get another drink here Oh 
Oh man, it's so creamy. It's almost like they used vanilla bean and raspberry mix to get a nice creamy mouthfeel. I mean, it absolutely goes down like dessert. I mean, it tastes, if you've ever had the raspberry tart dessert, the little biscuits, that's what it tastes like. It does have a little bit of dryness in the back end of the mouth, which could almost, you could almost impart a little biscuitness. Uh, if this were a little fresher, you could get that a little more, but this is not, this is not old by any means. This beer is just absolutely, absolutely, in my opinion, world class. And if you're ever in Wisconsin, I highly recommend you go for this beer. Thank you for watching Heartfelt Beer Reviews, and I hope you enjoyed my review.